Whenever I'm talking to someone and they mention that they're trying to be a self-taught software developer, one of the things that comes up is using your time effectively, like trying to do this as quickly as possible. Because for a lot of you guys, maybe you've been doing this for a few months. Some of you have even maybe been doing it for a year or longer. And you wanna know like, is there any way to speed this process up? Because it's hard, especially if you have a nine to five job, you've got other stuff going on in your life to continually do this over and over and study and build projects over a long period of time is just hard. So if you can get in that career quicker, you should absolutely do it. But the point I'm bringing this up is because in this video, what I'm gonna share with you is the, I'd say the most important concept that if you get down will help reduce the amount of time that you waste and will hopefully get you closer to your goal of being a software developer. So we'll definitely dive into that. By the way, if you're new here and you're wondering who am I, I'm Andy Sterkwitz, I'm a self-taught software developer. I've dedicated this channel to help people to do the same, so to get into a career as quickly as possible. So I definitely recommend to hit the subscribe button below. Also make sure to hit the bell icon so you get notifications anytime I put out a new video. So with all of that being said, I think it's really important to discuss what the big problem is for a lot of you guys. Most of you guys have this problem of what I would call, I don't know, distance from what you're doing to what you will be doing as a software developer. So many of you guys jump in, you're super excited. For weeks and months, you spend a lot of time consuming information, right? You don't know how to program, so it's probably a good start to start consuming information. What is a programming language? How does a programming language work? What is the syntax of a programming language? How do you build some applications in a programming language, right? Like these are important things. You definitely have to know them. You can't jump in blind. But I find that a lot of you guys, you enjoy the learning process, so you stay there. You read a lot of books, you watch a lot of tutorials, you watch a lot of videos, you consume, 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 thinking that one day you'll have consumed enough information that somebody's gonna give you a badge to go off to a job interview with and they're just gonna be like, wow, you have consumed so much information, you're like an encyclopedia, you're hired. Unfortunately, you don't get hired for what you know, at least not as a software developer, right? It's not what you know, it's what you can do. And so what you actually do as a software developer is so far away from learning all of these concepts and all of these different things that you learn when you're learning, right? They're so far apart that most companies are just not gonna hire you because yeah, you may have read a lot, but can you actually do the work that they're gonna ask you? If they've got a bug in their application and they say, hey, can you fix it? Are you gonna be like, well, there's, there's no manual for that. I need a tutorial, right? Well, that's not gonna fly. Or if they ask you to build maybe a small web application for them and you're gonna sit there and say, well, I never learned that when I was learning. No, they, you have to be able to do that. So the point is that the distance between what you're doing right now, all this learning stuff and what you need to do, which is actually implementing the knowledge, right? And taking this and, and using it, it's so far for so many of you guys. And you're so scared usually to get started, right? Like that's the thing I hear. It's like, oh, I don't really know what to do. The thing is this, the earlier you can throw yourself into the fire, as they say, like the earlier you can get yourself just building something small, the better. Because what you'll realize when you do start building applications, and I'm talking small, simple, easy applications. If you guys need any ideas, I have a video that I posted recently about five beginner JavaScript applications. Start there. Anyhow, if you just start there, what you're gonna realize is that you waited way longer than you should have to start building stuff. A lot of the people I work with, my mentoring clients, people with no backgrounds, no computer science degrees, we get them building projects as quickly as possible because we wanna show you that, hey, this is possible. And yes, you can do it. Instead of waiting six months after you started learning this, start doing it now. Stop hesitating. Stop trying to think of all the reasons why you don't need to build projects. Ultimately, what you're trying to do is get closer to what software development actually is, which is building stuff, which is tracking bugs down, which is fixing issues, is getting stuck. Guess what? That work, it's not fun most of the time. Many times you're gonna be sitting there going, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not sure how to work through this, but that's the process of learning to become a better problem solver. Problem solving is this nebulous thing that we, I hear so often when it comes to software development, right? Like, how do you be a better problem solver? And people ask me all the time, how can I be the best problem solver? How can I be better than that? Well, guess what? The only way you do it is just by going through problem after problem after problem after problem after problem. I mean, if, if you think about over the course of a software developer's careers, they solve tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of problems, of issues, of things that are going on over and over again. They get stuck on one thing and they figure it out. And that's what makes a good software developer, right? All the concepts that you're learning, 
all the better ways to program, those will come. You can focus on those once you have the core skills and even as you're learning the core skills, but ultimately you have to do the work of a software developer. So if you've watched my channel, you should know that what I'm gonna tell you to do is to build projects. Start small, build something that's not that complex, very, very simple. It could be the easiest application in the world. And when you're done with that, add a little complexity to it and keep going and going and aim for projects that you see maybe YouTubers doing, right? Like if there's some YouTuber who's doing like some sort of clone, like I know people do like, what is it? Spotify clones, Netflix clones, Amazon clones, Facebook clones. Yes, later down the line, shoot for that, but shoot for small stuff in the interim and shoot for intermediate applications after that. And you could look on YouTube for that. You can Google all that information. So ultimately, Here's the thing, if you wanna do this quicker, get closer to the work of actual software developers, right? Like don't hide from getting into the actual meat and potatoes of what software developers do, which is to code applications. Don't run away from it. Like try to do as much as you can. If you get stuck, good. It means it's a sign that you are doing the work of a software developer and figuring out how to get unstuck and figuring out how to go through it is part of the process. It's painful, but when you get better at that, that's when you'll be a better software developer. So I hope this video, I hope this concept that I've laid out for you is helpful. If you enjoyed it, definitely leave a like as the YouTube algorithm loves that. It's a big favor to me. Also leave a comment as well. If you've enjoyed the video, if you've got a lot from it, definitely let me know. Other than that, guys, thank you so much as always for watching and have a good one. Peace out.